Um, hi, I'm Francesca De Fusco. I'm the writer director of Incroci. It's a film about uh, treacherous first crush, and I hope you enjoy it. What? Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean-Bor Bobak, and this time we are discussing the short film Incroci. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Hello. Welcome to the Berlinale. Hi. Thank you, f- thank you for being here with us. Um, let's talk about um, the film. Can you tell us what was um, what inspired you to to make this film? Yes, um, I was inspired both by my own personal experience of having crushes and having this kind of internal obsession and desire. And also I was really inspired by the place. This is where my um, entire family is from, where my mom grew up, where um, I visited every year growing up with my cousins. And I always felt like I found myself in this really archaic place that held so much history and so much culture and tradition, having um, all these really internal private experiences that didn't in any way relate to the external culture. And um, as I started to kind of get older, I noticed that I I wasn't alone in that, but it was kind of this invisible experience, evident really to only maybe other people that were also having it. So um, yeah, that's kind of my vague, a vague assumption. Yeah. Um, The main character Federica in this film, um, we we follow um, her, exploration of of desire um in a way how would you characterize federica yeah i i i think that um i think that there's something both really fragile and vulnerable about having um an experience for the first time but Mm -hmm. i think that there's also something really intrepid about um kind of pursuing an interest to the extent that she does and i think that that's kind of endearing Mm -hmm. um I think that there's also something a little bit funny about when we reorient our entire life to try to arrive at um, some sort of inconclusive obsession, like how the whole world is um, kind of disregards our intense interest in something. And it's a little bit um, tragic and funny, but um, ultimately really endearing. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a bit about this, uh, this uh, particular, um, space in which uh, the film takes place, this home where these girls are living. Um, it was a very um, interesting look into into some sort of community like that. Yeah, so that's, um, it's called a pensionato and it's like, kind of like, um, it's, non- it, it's non-run housing, but mm-hmm. a lot of people can live there. You don't have to, um, it's not like a, you don't need to be studying religion. It's if girls that want to come and study in a different region or um, some teachers that come from a different region, it just hosts them. So I was making one of another, a very early short film um, that was a different story in Bergamo. And when I had my friends come as crew, we found that that was cheap, like it was affordable housing for the crew. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time there and that's when I was almost shocked because it was like an extreme, it's like stuck in antiquity. Everything was almost frozen in time. Um, The building itself, but also all of the culture inside of it that was dictated by the nuns was was like from a different century. And then inside it was like teenagers, a lot of them were queer, they were on TikTok. It was like Mm. total modernity in the face of this. Uh, It was was just so polarized Um, that I feel like it also spoke to the kind of um, obliviousness that surrounds queerness in Italy, where it's accepted, but it's not embraced or to yeah. the fact that it's, it's present, but it's also invisible. It's, the, it's there, it's, it's, it's in every space, but it's not um, celebrated or embraced or, or um, pedestalized in any way. So mm-hmm. uh, that's, that's why I wanted to focus it in, um, yeah. in that space. 
I felt yeah. like it also spoke to Italy at large, right? Really, uh -huh. really old, really new kind of clashing. Yeah, I see. Um, tell us a bit about um, this obsession that um, that Federica takes and and this very um, interesting and indeed, as you say, endearing um, relationship that um, that Federica yeah. and Valentina, the the other main character, um, explore in in the film. Well, I feel like when you have a crush and you're trying to read if it's reciprocated, you know, yeah. the smallest thing will, will be evidence like, oh, but, you know, you look this way or that yeah. way. And it's like you're kind of driving yourself mad. Um, and of course, oftentimes you are right. It's like these really subtle instincts that do dictate kind of any sort of um, reciprocity. But uh, I, I think that's like also the question in the film is like, what really happened I do think that they connected and I do think that sometimes like that really is enough to change the course of your life it doesn't have to be this grand overture you know even just a small opening can um yeah. dictate the way that you behave from there on yeah is this the first um queer experience that Federica encounters I was yeah, wondering this it, while I was watching the film yeah. is, is it a kind of coming to terms with with a new type of desire, maybe. Totally. I'm not even sure. I, you know, when we cast Nico, it was important to me that that character was also masked and didn't fit into the, like, classical sense of femininity yeah. that's so present. Um, and I think that it, in, in a sense, was also an awakening not only to queerness, but to um, an embrace of other kinds of identities. And I do think it was maybe the, it was like the first opening, like, oh, Mm -hmm. And that moment is always such an amazing experience to have in your life. It's a total shock and it's terrifying, but it's so indulgently wonderful. So yeah, that's what I wanted to capture. Yeah, and there is some sort of fleetingness to it. It's it's really, it's kind of like a momentary thing that, that yeah, yeah evidently needs to pass or, or I don't know. And I think that was very interestingly captured in the film as well that Yes, it's yeah. it's a moment basically that that happens to you and it opens up to a completely new world. But but yeah, it just has to pass in a way. Well, that's what I think is so hard about um, how the how the your queer experience kind of um, progresses through these increments that almost feel intangible, impossible to describe. They don't really feel um, like you know how if she were to tell people about it, it would be like oh. I met somebody once, but, you know, in, internally, it's like an uh, earth-shattering experience. But, yeah, maybe that's just kind of love itself. or Yeah, probably. Uh, Could be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Francesca, thank you so much. Um, it was very lovely uh, talking to you. And thank you also for the film. Um, I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Thank you. Thank you. you.